my name is Plus Size Luxury and today I'm doing a review on my Carolina Herrera Small Bimba. Um, I have two of them, one in black, one in teal. Uh, first, let's jump into sort of like a bag tour and then I'll come in and explain a little bit about the bag and stuff like that. So let's jump right into the bag tour. Hi, I wanted to give you guys an overview of my two small Bimba bags from Carolina Herrera. Let's start with the black one. So this is in lambskin. It comes with a crossbody strap. It has half of the woven chain strap and then a plain leather strap. So you can double it up or you can uh, use it on a single shoulder. Here's a close up of the quilts. It is just the CH um, quilts. They call them souffle. This is the buckle. So you open the bag by pressing the button and that opens the flap. So inside it also has a leather flap. This is just some stuffing. And then we can see that the interior is a canvas material. There's an inside button, I'm sorry, inside zipper pocket right here. There is this plaque with CH 2020. This is when the design came out. Unique to this bag, which I think is very helpful, is that this front section is a zippered uh, pocket. So you can put your phone in here and that's also lined in canvas. So the leather goes about like maybe an inch deep and then around the sides. There's nothing on the front um, side of the bag. Uh, here is a close up of the latch too. As you can see, the only wear that I have on, I'm sorry, there's like a little bit of fingerprints. There's a little bit of chipping right there on the front clasp. The, all of the gold um, hardware on here is gold plated and 18 karat gold. This is Wylang Napa leather, um, according to my sales associate. And here is the buckle too. Let's quickly go over this one as well. So this is in the aqua teal color. It's in the same setup. This is the same size of so the small bimba. Again, you can double up the chain or single chain. Here is the front you have to press open the clasp. Some stuffing. Again, it is lined in a canvas material with a back zipper pocket. And then that unique front flap um, pocket area where you can put your phone, which is also lined in canvas. So the bag is not too light. Oh, and there's nothing on the back. There's no back pocket, unfortunately. So with it being lined in canvas, it's super light. Um, this zipper pull right here, it does seem to indent the front of the bag. So just be mindful of that. I have to make sure it lines up so it doesn't poke the bag. There isn't any chipping on this class, but admittedly I wear this one a lot less than I wear my black one. Um, is there anything else I wanna say about this? I just wanna sort of give you guys a tour of the bag. Uh, there is a little bit of, so where the stitching is on the souffle, can you get a little closer, please? Where the stitching is on the souffle uh, quilt, I feel like sometimes it might've teared the leather a little bit. So if you can see that little hole right there, Let's see if I can get it to focus one second. See, it seemed to like poke through the leather a little bit larger than the rest of the stitching. So that's the only thing that I see, but everything else, it seems to be wearing well. Here's the bottom, there's no feet. Oh. Hi, Pine. <laughs> um, it has no feet on the bottom. Oh, and the bag strap is attached with two circular rings. And I'm assuming it's underneath the flap because it doesn't go through the material. Okay, all right, that's it. So 
So currently the small bimba retails for 1,180 in the US. Um, it comes in about, whew, I would say about 13 or 14 different colors and there's seasonal colors added every season for summer, winter and fall and also spring. Um, as far as the material that the bag is made out of, the Bimba 9, which is what we call the small version, is handcrafted in Wailang Napa leather, smooth and soft, featuring the quilted souffle of Carolina's 2020 initials, finished with an adjustable strap. It can be worn over the shoulder or crossbody. The width of it is 25 centimeters, the height is 15 centimeters, and the depth is 10 centimeters. It comes with an adjustable chain and leather strap, handcrafted stitching, push lock fastening, gold plated hardware, fully lined in cotton and linen, two interior zip pockets. All the leather that is used to create the products are of European origin, comes with a dust bag. It is made in Spain. Bimba collection is characterized by the great diversity of designs inspired by a little girl who is always changing her doll's outfits. This bag is handcrafted in our Spanish workshop. And is there any more information on here? Composition, it says outer shell is 100% lambskin, interior is 47% linen, 33% cotton, and 20% lambskin. So, um, as you saw from the bag tour, uh, the wear and tear on this bag has been pretty minimal. All that I've noticed on the teal and the black one is, let me get the black one actually. Because of the way that you have to fasten it, it's similar to the issues with the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Sometimes you're just like, okay, where's, where's the hole? How do I get it in there? And that causes scratching on the buckle right here. So there's not been any scratches, but I see that there is a bit of a chip on the bottom of the buckle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a bit of the, um, the gold plating that's chipped. Other than that, I haven't seen any like corner wear, um, haven't seen any significant wear to the leather. There are like a few scratches in it, but it's still, you know, I think in pretty good visual condition. I love the gold plated hardware. Let me just show you. And just to compare it to the champagne gold of Chanel. So that is the comparison between the gold hardware and then the champagne gold hardware of Chanel. And this strap is pretty thin because this is on an SLG but I think typically they're the size of the Carolina Herrera. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to say about this bag. It's been super lightweight, super comfortable. Oh, I did mention the stitching. I noticed on this blue one, where is it? It just seemed like it has a, a deeper or bigger hole sometimes because of the delicacy of the leather. So just something to keep an eye out. I don't think it's going to further tear or anything like that. There is no corner wear. Yeah, it's just been in great condition and I haven't had any chipping or anything like that of the hardware. The leather is soft and squishy. It's very thick. You can see like how thick because it's I think it's like double wall that they have this. Um, anything else I want to say about this? Let me know if you have guys have any questions. I'm not seeing any tearing of any stitches. Everything is perfectly aligned. Smells like leather. <laughs> um, Definitely the organization of the interior is my favorite. I love this front pocket, but I will say um, it's a little bit weird for them to have such a um, hard zipper pull because it does tend to dent the top of the bag. So not the smartest design there, but I do love all the bits of hardware. The plaque is a lot of fun. I love how shiny that is. And it just says here, Carolina Herrera, made in Spain, Honcho and Espanol. So I guess that means made in Spain. And 
It's a very easy bag to wear. If you're looking for a small uh, classic flap alternative, I think this is a great one. I'm hoping to get maybe a lambskin Chanel in my possession so I can do maybe a comparison. Um, I try to find out like where the lambskin leather for Chanel comes from, but they're pretty like shrouded in mystery because it just says Europe, so I don't know if it's like a special type or a special factory, um, if all of their leather comes from France, but um, I'm glad that there was a lot of transparency in where this, the materials of this bag is made. Um, I wonder what they mean by handcrafted stitching. I'm, I don't know if they mean, is it still like a sewing machine or they're like here hand sewing these? I feel like it should be like a sewing Sorry, machine. Sorry guys, my camera just cut off in the middle of me recording my review, but uh, long story short, I highly recommend this bag. If you're ever in the Atlanta area, um, go to Lenox Mall. We have a Carolina Herrera there. Customer service has always been top tier. Um, I'm hoping to get a medium size pretty soon, maybe in their grained leather. And then I know that they have a smooth leather version out right now that's seasonal. And then I noticed that they have a nylon version out that's um, also seasonal. So I'm interested in those two materials. Uh, is there anything else else I wanted to say? Nothing that I can think of. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember what I said before the video cut off, but um, if there's anything I need to add, I'll just put it in um, like a little postscript or in the description box below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.